because again, the only place that whatever you are remembering seemed to occur was in an illusory gap. So it never actually happened. And the past is gone. It does not exist. So it can't have any effects today. We don't need to be beating ourselves up for some past memory when that's an illusion as well. You get a clean slate every now moment when you side up with God. The ego wants you to have this false past and carry it along with a, like a heavy sack over yeah. your shoulder. But, um, you know, you can let, let that shit go. Uh, <laughs> Very good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. speaking my language. Yeah, right? <laughs> good word. Yeah. Okay. So how do you think that sickness can succeed in shielding you from truth? Because it proves the body is not separate from you, and so you must be separate from the truth. You suffer. So if you are this body, mm -hmm. you're not here, obviously, where no matter is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sickness proves that this is you. Mm -hmm. And so you must be separate from the truth. You're not in the mind of God. Okay, you suffer pain because the body does. And in this pain, are you made one with it? Thus is your true mythical me identity preserved and the strange haunting thought that you might be something beyond this little pile of dust silenced and stilled. For see, this dust can make you suffer. Twist your limbs and stop your heart, commanding you to die and cease to be. Mm. Mm. That is how the ego uses the body to shriek that you are the body and not the mind that's thinking it. <laughs> so, but the truth here is that the body as an idea mm -hmm. that's being projected in every single moment, it doesn't have a past. Mm. So, you know, as that, when we, when we really open our mind to that, we realize that the body is completely neutral. That's right. It's just a neutral idea. So it's not, it doesn't, it's not rooted in the past, mm -hmm. right, either, is it? No. Because a lot of, a lot of this, a lot of this, um, the ego's, um, investment in sickness comes from the idea that this that the body's real right and that the that the sickness that was caused in the past mm -hmm. can't be healed now right because it was caused in the past perfect Thank all you. right um that's another little trick Mm -hmm. that the ego yeah. pulls on us and what jesus is saying you know and he says it many different ways in the cause is time is not a cause either right. you know time cannot harm us in aging and death and time cannot heal us either it ha it's neutral time is neutral mm -hmm. that's a big one right right so if i if i if i mistakenly believe that the that the cause of a disease in the body I have now is in the past mm -hmm. the tricky ego goes oh it's in the past mm -hmm. so it can't be healed now That's right. because the cause is in the past so it separates the past from now That's where right. the only instant which is the holy instant which is eternal by the way mm -hmm. The only instant where we can truly receive full healing through the atonement is kept away from our awareness and our acceptance by the ego's uh, story, right? Yeah. So it, it's like saying we're buried in the past, like the cause is buried in the past. So say you had an accident 20 years ago that left the body disfigured or something, right? And if you believe that you live in the body, mm -hmm. you're you're bound by it. You're bound by the laws of whatever happened around that incident and whatever the world tells you is going to be your, your fate because of that past incident. Mm -hmm. And you go along and you're doomed. You're buried and in, 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 um, you're governed completely by the ego's laws around that incident. But what was the resurrection? 
right? That mm -hmm. was, hey guys, the body is a now moment projection. You are not in the body. The body is in your mind. That mind is what you are. He took dominion and possession of the body and proved you all saw you all saw me. I was up there, beaten, torn, crucified, and killed, dead body, wrapped up, stuck in the tomb, put the stone in front of it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm buried. Ego's law says that's it, he's toast. Even his disciples that walked with him and saw all these miracles were like, let's get back to fishing. There's nothing we can do now, right? But three days later, what does he do? He's back. It's like this new body, it's beautiful, and he's there, and he's just saying this. That was the proof. That was the proof that you are mind, not the body. The body is your a symbol in your mind, and you have the ability to put it down and take it up and then take it up. It's yours. It's neutral, and it will follow your directive. You are not the servant to the body, and this is that switch around, and we all have to come to it. If well, your body is a now moment projection, take it out from under the ego's laws. Erase yeah. the past. I am right now perfect, whole, and complete as God is causing me to be. I'm not the past. There is no past. And if you know that, you know, the body, that's instantaneous healing. It's the freedom from the belief that healing takes time. Mm. We should have taped this. That was fantastic. We are. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So good. Oh, thank you. Oh boy, I'm gonna press press replay on this quite yeah. a few times. Thank you, Sue. Oh, I love your conviction. Oh, I'm hopefully yeah. it's contagious. <laughs> well, he meant it, you know. He he meant it and he proved it, and he expects us to do the same. And and why not? You know, only yeah. the ego says, well, you you know, false humility. You can't do that. Yes, we can. <laughs> 